Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Bolton E-Bikes. And today I have not one, but four different bikes from Bike Tricks. Normally when I do a bike review, I only review one bike at a time and I'm still gonna do that because to try and review four bikes in one video, I don't think would do justice to any of these bikes. We're gonna start with just one, the Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra. Ultra. And if you haven't watched the last review video, we've narrowed things down to just five review points that I think are most critical. But before that happens, why do I have four bikes from the same company? You guys often send messages, you leave comments, and you ask for bikes that, frankly, I don't have. You ask for more step-through models, more mid-drive models, uh, maybe a bike that doesn't have fat tires. For me to make all of those bikes under the Bolton E-Bikes brand name would be difficult, it would be expensive, and it would take a significant amount of time. If we don't have the right bike for you, we refer you to the right company or bike company that does have the bike you would want, or we start carrying a new brand other than our own. So far that has been the Cheetah from Revy Bikes. We also have the Biconet Warthogs. And if you've been listening to the podcast, you may have heard me talk with Roshan, the owner of Bike Tricks. And that is why I have one, two, three, four models to start out with. So I can do a review on each of these. But since we're starting with the review on the Juggernaut Ultra, let me share the reasons why I decided to get this bike not only for a review, but make it available for sale from Bolton e-bikes. At first glance, you might think there are some similarities between this model and what we call the Foxbat. And you would be right, it is a thousand watt mid-drive bike. It does have four inch wide fat tires. It has, although a different model, a color display hydraulic brakes, and it even has the same suspension fork. So you might be wondering, why are you carrying this bike if it's so similar? Probably one of the more common questions we get is, does it come with a cadence sensor or a torque sensor? And the answer is, it uses the BB SHD motor, and the only option with that specific motor is a cadence sensor. And is there a way to upgrade it to a torque sensor? The answer is, unfortunately, no, there's not. That would require the Bethang Ultra motor, which is exactly what the Juggernaut Ultra bike has. Let's get into the review, starting with number five, the warranty. Most bike companies have a warranty that just kind of covers everything. It's a set amount of time. Uh, bike Tricks does it a little bit different. They have what they consider a, a lifetime warranty on the frame. Now, when you get to the electronics, like the battery and the motor, then those things go to what I would consider a pretty industry standard 12 months. Warranty, I'm gonna give a neutral score. I think the service is gonna be great, excellent. Number four, the technical specifications. The fork, same as what's found on our Foxbat and our Sabre. Uh, I've found that these have been very reliable, very sturdy, aren't necessarily as smooth. So if you're really into aggressive trail riding, I could see that you might wanna upgrade to something different. But for the way that most people are riding e-bikes like this, it's more than sufficient. Hydraulic brakes, they're a OEM brand just with a Bike Tricks label on it. Fairly similar, I would say, to like a Shimano 355 in construction and overall quality. And then if we go to the shifter, here's where things start getting interesting. Uh, it has a Shimano Dior. This is quite nice. We have a cassette with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine speeds. Components are a slight step up from some of the other bikes that we look at. It does have a functional tail light and a functional headlight, and it comes with these metal fenders, both front and rear. The rotors are 180 millimeters. I would say the saddle, the seat post, the rack, those are just pretty standard items. I think the components are all very, very good. This is a tough one where I kind of feel like, eh, it's about average, but I'm also comparing it to my own bikes, like 
the Sabre, and the Fox Bat, like I already mentioned. And I would consider those to be extremely good deals. Realistically, there are bikes like this on the market selling for, you know, $1,000, $1,500 more than this one. So really, I should give this an A for awesome score on the components. The other reason I feel like it definitely deserves a score like that is because Bike Tricks will customize their bikes to your liking. So if you want something fancier than the Bike Tricks brakes, you can upgrade those to a four piston brake. They even offer the Magura MTEs. Those brakes are over $300. There are even different tire and wheel options on a lot of their bikes. So the great thing about the components is you can choose and be a little bit more flexible at exactly how you want it set up. And number three for this bike is the range. Now I'll be honest, if this battery, which is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery, was the only battery option for this bike, I would give it a neutral score because I feel like that's pretty average for industry and that capacity. It would be nice if it could come with something bigger. Thankfully, there are options to upgrade the battery when you buy the bike. You can get a higher capacity 48 volt battery. You can get up to a 48 volt 21 amp hour. Or if you want a little more power in exchange for some of that range, you can swap that out for a 52 volt battery because there are multiple battery options when you buy the bike. I am gonna give this an A for awesome on range because you can pick the battery that's best suited for the type of riding that you wanna do with the bike. And number two on our list is power, but to properly feel the power, I'm gonna to have to get on this bike and go ride it. And it is a bit chilly outside, so just a tip when it's cold like this, you lose most of your heat through your extremities Get some good winter gloves. Regular cycling gloves will let wind through and your fingers will still get cold. Cover your ears. You wouldn't believe how much of a difference that makes. For those that want to know how this compares to the BB SHD motor from Bafang, here's the difference between a torque sensor and a cadence sensor. I'm changing some settings now. Changing from metric over to imperial. Power view, trip, wheel size. That should probably be turned up a little bit. I'm going to say these are probably closer to 28 inches. Speed limit. You didn't see anything. I also moved the seat up a little bit. You may have noticed this bike appears to kind of have a low standover height. And that is because there are two different sizes. Both a 17 inch frame. I would kind of lump that into more like a medium ish, which is what this guy is and a larger 19 inch frame. Okay, back to what I was talking about. I am on level five for the assist, which is the maximum power setting, the way the display is programmed. And I'm pedaling lightly doing six miles an hour. If you had a BB SHD, it wouldn't know that I was pedaling lightly. And so it would just be giving me way more power. And I'd have to turn that setting down if I wanted to go this slow. This one, if I want to go a little faster, now I can just start pedaling a little harder. And you can see how the bike speeds up because I'm working harder. It's going to work harder too. Shades are for the wind to keep my face warm and not for the sun because there is no sun. Well, there is one, I just don't see it. I kind of want to take the bike onto some trails and go up and down some hills. But on the way there, let's talk about power. Is there any other score I can give a bike that has a peak power of nearly 1500 watts and a base price well under $3,000? No, there's really not. Uh, <laughs> a for awesome on the power. Just tons and tons of power. And now, if I choose to take a little break, hit the throttle, and I'm accelerating up a hill. I love the exercise. I just want to show you guys what the bike is capable of doing with the ultra motor. So what I'm doing now is riding down this fire road kind of into this valley because it's a pretty steep gravel road. If the brakes weren't broken in, they will be after this. 
So what I want to do is go up this steep gravel road without pedaling at all to just give the motor a, a good run. You can see the road winding up here. So now we're going to go throttle only, no pedaling, and make it all the way up this hill. Not only is it doing it, it's doing it quite happily, I should say. That hopefully gives you an idea of how steep the hill is. You don't want to go off that way. Number one, price. How's the price of the Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra? It's an excellent value. Just do your homework, go search around. Excellent buy, A for awesome. And the final score for the Juggernaut Ultra is... Thanks again for watching another video from Bolton E-Bikes. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because if you don't, you might miss the reviews on the other three bikes that we have, and you might miss next week's review on another brand, and guess what? That's gonna be another bike giveaway. Let's see how fast this thing will go. Thank you.